Hey everybody, it's Ryan from Cruise with the Coleman's, and I'm sitting here in my comfy recliner, getting ready to watch some TV. And we have this center TV console in our RV. And it's really nice uh, because it turns around to the bedroom or to our living space, so we only really need one TV. The problem is, check it out, I can only see like two thirds of the screen. I'm missing all the good stuff. So, we have in the past, put a TV arm on the TV so that it swings out, and now you can see. But the arm we have is not quite long enough, so it doesn't really do a great job. So we found a new one on Amazon. We're gonna put a new TV arm in. I just wanna show you how easy this is. Even if you don't have a rotating TV stand like we do, I can show you how this works. See our TV, it just rotates all the way around to the bedroom. But even if you just have a regular TV somewhere, putting an arm on it is actually a piece of cake in the RV so that you can aim the TV wherever you want it. And maybe you don't need to have three or four TVs in your RV. So let's get to it and show you how to do it. I'm just following the instructions that came with our TV mounting system. Um, everyone's a little bit different, but they all basically have the same setup. You have to take the TV plate off of the mounting bracket, and then it comes with a whole variety of screws and extra parts to figure out the size and shape. So you can see here, there's one, two, three, four, five different uh, holes for different settings and different sizes of TVs. Ours, fortunately, is super easy to do. Uh, so I'm just connecting these screws right in because ours is a flat panel. Uh, you don't want to use TVs that are, uh, you don't want to use screws that are too long because they could uh, go through the inner interior mechanism of the TV and actually crack your screen from the backside. Um, and you don't want it to be too short because then they don't actually connect into the threads. So you just screw them in until they are relatively tight but not overly tightened. I will tell you, I check these screws probably once a season just to make sure that, you know, from rattling down the road, they haven't loosened up and I've never actually had to retighten them. They've never had a problem with that. So it's not something to worry about. A lot of people are like, oh, you can't put your TV on an arm in an RV. It'll just fall off or it'll rip the RV apart. As long as you do it right, it's going to be fine. So now this is ready. This is going to go back on to the arm once I get the arm mounted inside the TV housing. Here's the one place where you're going to have to make some special considerations for hanging a mounting bracket for your TV in an RV. So it has to be mounted into a stud. And of course, RVs infamously don't have a lot of studs. Now, if you're mounting it into an exterior wall, you probably should already know where your wall backers are. So you want to make sure that you're doing it there. Here in this cabinet came with two vertical beams. This one was actually over here originally, but on the old bracket, I had to move it over to this side. This one is going to actually work on the existing bracket, but I measured the center to make sure that when it's retracted, that the center of the TV is still in the center of the housing. But if I needed to mount it in some other weird place, I went ahead and cut a stud before I got here to the campground so that I could mount a stud wherever I needed it to mount the bracket into. The other consideration is the mounting came with screws like this. Well, if I use this screw into the stud here, it'd be poking through the other side, obviously a safety issue. So I did find some galvanized screws that are strong and are weighted for the weight that I need that I'm gonna use instead. They're shorter so that they're only gonna go into this and not be an excess. So now I just have to take a measurement to know where this is gonna go for height and screw it into my stud. And I'm ready to hang the TV. Got this in, it is nice and secure. Now I just have to set the TV up on here. So that bolt that was sticking out is already connected. I'm gonna take another bolt and put it in the bottom here and finger tighten it. So I get it lined up, there it goes. Finger tighten that down. I'm gonna use the screwdriver to get it the rest of the way on. Top one down now. All right, reconnect. Um, it's not. It's not straight. It's not staying straight. Just adjust that. 
reconnect my various connections here. So I've got my cable that comes in from the antenna. I've got my sound, it goes to my head. TV power only other thing I need to connect is an HDMI cable we use this to allow the TV to connect to one of our phones so now we can connect to a phone so that when we don't have good service we can stream from a phone directly onto the TV all right let's see how it looks from the front all right, we have the whole thing hooked up and ready to go. I also put a slight angle on the TV so it's facing just a tiny bit down, which will help uh, reduce some glare for us. But here's all I have to do, pull it out and twist it over. And now I've got a great view of the TV from my chair. Time to watch one of my favorite YouTube channels. Let's see what they're up to next.